Hello again, welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guys. Today's beer is a beer from Windsor and Eaton Brewery, and it's their Pilsner Lager 4.8% Republica. Look at that. Look at the frost just come out of the fridge. It should be exactly 3 degrees on this beer. As all good lagers should be, they should be chilled down. There you go. For a nice, clean, crisp finish. Okay, let's get this beer open and into a glass. I am very thirsty. Bit of smoke there. The winds are eating glassware there. And that is a lovely colour. That is a lovely colour of beer. Very, very clean. Very clean. Golden look to the beer. Look at that. One finger, very, very white, kind of soapy head going on there. But wow. Doesn't that look nice? Doesn't that look... It, it, I bet you're watching thinking, God, I'd love that right now. Um, I've got to get the nose on this. Oh, it smells clean. It smells cutthroat. Cutthroat clean. It's not... You just know, you just kind of know it's, it, it's, it's got a crisp, crisp finish. There's hints, there's something in there which is just maybe a hint of lemongrass. Maybe a hint of lemongrass in there. So it's all about the taste. Let's get in. Cheers. Oh wow, that has, got, that has got a nice, it's like a bitter lemon twist and then you, you, you certainly do get the hops first, the, the, it's like a bitter lemon and then it quickly, it's the other way around, it quickly gets taken away by a lovely mellow malty sweet finish yeah that's um, that is quite nice and so so clean it is so clean in the taste it is crisp it is ice cold so refreshing, it is so refreshing. There's a lovely, lovely, it's like a humming, and there's a bit of bitterness there as well. It's it like hums, it hums the lemon, it just like it's in the background, just humming along. And then the, the sweet malt just brings it together fantastically well. Mm. I've got to show you something as well, I've noticed. I want to show you the conditioning. As I rock the beer back and forth, check the small bubbles. That are rising from the side of the glass. It's well conditioned. Now, bearing in mind, this was sent to me, this beer, this Pilsner, 
has been sitting in my fridge about three months. Three months. <coughs> Pardon me. It's asking me to serve it cold on the bottle, so it's at the right temperature. It's been sitting in my fridge three months, but look, look how well it stayed in the bottle. Look at that. What a glass of beer, eh? The conditioning. Absolutely fantastic. Windsor and Eaton Brewery have sent me all of their range. This is the last one I'm reviewing now, but it's been it's been quite a journey. It really has. Starting from the Windsor Knot, the Royal Wedding Ale, that was back in April of 2011. It's now January 2012. That was very, very crisp, very, very clean beer, glass of beer. They've got an oak age beer, which, and it's a best bitter, so it's, it's available all year round, which is just lovely. Then they've got, um, they've got a black IPA, and I believe it's called Conqueror, and that is, that is some drink. That is very, very nice. And then they went, they went, for me, they went one better. They they did a a funked up um, this three hundred and thirty milliliter size bottle of Republica ten seventy five. That was the the gravity of the beer, and that, that was something like it was between seven and eight percent, and that was completely mind blowing. That was. That was one of my beers of 2011. This come at the same time as the 1075 Conqueror. As I say, it's been sitting in my fridge for three months. I find it very hard to get excited about lager. I've got to be honest, I find it very hard to get excited about lager. But when I try a good lager, when I try a good Pilsner lager, like this, which is... So cold, it's been in my fridge. They've asked me to chill it, chill it. It's so clean, it's so crisp, it's full. For a lager, mind it, I mean, it's not full, full as an ale, but for a lager, it's, it's full of lovely citrus, sweet, malty tastes, which you wouldn't get from, all I can say is, a lot of the laggers you buy on the supermarket shop. This is something different. If you're looking at it thinking, mm, it's just a lager, you need to go and try it for yourself. Time for a rating. That's nice. That is very, very nice. I've reviewed a few lagers. I've reviewed a few pilsners. I'm going to give this an 8. 8 out of 10. From the Real Ale Guide. Somebody who just normally reviews Real Ale is giving a lager an 8. So, in context, you really do need to go out and and, and try this because in context I don't give many eights for a lager okay to contact Windsor and Eaton Brewery it is www.webrew.co.uk see if I can get that to focus there you go Please check them out. As I mentioned earlier, they've got a fantastic range, an extensive range from, from 
best bitters to to IPAs to, to double black IPAs to, to good tasting pills and lagers try them out they're very good um, you can email me at realguide at googlemail.com Facebook is facebook.com forward slash realcraftbeer and Twitter is twitter.com forward slash real today but thanks for watching please leave your comments I'll always answer subscribe if you like and cheers